Oh. I don't know, maybe I just got greedy. It was all going really well. I, I'd strung together two really solid months of um, ring training. Uh, made some mad strength gains on the Pelicans. And then, uh, yeah, I was just up to testing the elevator, which I knew would be at my uh, max level of my abilities. And, well, it's my own training philosophy to always practice two levels below my best max effort. So um, I've been doing that, but the time came to test just to see where where is that max effort. I need to know where is that limit. How do you know what two levels below your best is if you don't know what your best is? You don't know. You have to find that limit. You have to find what is my best effort. And then from there, I know how to organize myself two levels below that and train there for the majority of the working sets. There's risk. There's risk to all this stuff. Um, you're putting your body in challenging positions. You're working the ligaments, the tendons, the muscles, the tissue, the fascia. Things get tight. Every day is different. Every day you wake up, you're in a different body. Every session is different. So there's always risk. It's a slogan. Bulletproof this, bulletproof that. It's nonsense. There's no such thing. Um, we're not Wolverines. <laughs> we're not X-Men. We're not Superman. We're human beings. We have fallible oh. tissue that on any given day could betray you. The reason this stuff takes time is because the tendons and ligaments need time to adapt. They're a lot slower to respond than muscle. Muscle has more blood flow. Tendons and ligaments are so much slower to respond. You know, you're looking at six, nine, 12 months down the track to get the adaptation that we need to be able to perform some of this stuff safely. Yeah, if you rush things on the rings, then there could be a price to pay. Uh, you could be increasing the probability of hurting yourself, but even prepared athletes that have been doing it for quite some time, it might just be their day. Uh, something gives out and they find their limit and they can injure themselves. So it's not just the underprepared, it can be the prepared as well, where it's just your time. <laughs> There's no such thing as a free lunch, elbow tendonitis, bicep tendonitis, ruptured biceps, torn pectoral muscles. These are all the risks of training on the rings, whether or not you're underprepared, underconditioned, um, or you know you have a freak accident. So um, there are definitely risks. They can be minimized and reduced by being sensible with appropriate conditioning and taking your time. So you're probably wondering what specifically happened to me I did share a video where I was working Pelican curls for quite some time. Then I started testing the elevator, an advanced inverted upside down muscle up move. And did I injure myself? The answer is no. Ha <laughs> ha, bit clickbaity, isn't it? Um, you know what? I felt so tight though. I was tight and all jacked up and I decided to go and get one of those cupping massages. And where I was tight, I've come up with some um, some bruising. So what I have is bruising from cupping, uh, not any sort of radical injury. Uh, I am feeling a bit tight though from all the extra work. So time for a massage, some sauna, some trigger point work, and I'll be just dandy. So let's take a look at the cupping. This is a few days after cupping, the biceps and shoulders. Normally I just get my back done, but I was so tight after um, training on the rings for a uh, couple of months. So I got the shoulders and arms done. And um, yeah, you can see some gnarly bruising. So anyway, I hope that didn't freak you out too much. Back on the rings, baby.